Hey there, everyone, this is Alcal playing CLDC 2020. Oh, the music's kind of freaking me out for a hot second. Hard flight says there. There are no 22nd place because there are two 21st. And the first one we're playing here is by Noko Noko 82. So, Koopa Troopa 82. We're just going straight in. No titles. I got cape. I guess I'm just going. And I'm not dead yet, so that's pretty good. But here, oh boy, okay. Um, it's gonna be a flying level of some kind, huh? I've been flown in a little bit, and here we go. It's like, am I, am I like, whoa, so, okay, so I thought I'd be like, oh yeah, the level's called Hard Fly or something. I'm good at remembering things. I mean, this isn't really flying, this is the platform level where you have a cape, and then you look at the world, and you can't escape, and you kinda get close, and you go by, and then that guy spewing hammers, oh my, that's pretty wild. Dreams of hammer for me. I don't know what that sentence means. All right, and then I'm just going to glide. That's right. I'm gonna thwack this plant away. I'm gonna see, watch that flower raise. The music is very high energy for a like pretty like you gotta be like deadly, deathly careful. And okay, yeah, the game realizes the level realizes if you get touched by anything you're not you're not going to be able to do much so just instant death instant start over i respect that that's good the thwack didn't thwack i mean i was thwacking dude okay where did i get hurt again like around here yeah i jumped up into that plant right god damn it Really? I thought I would swag the fireball. See, like that. How do you squeeze in? I, I think I can do it. I just did bad. So that's why I duck jump all the time. Whoosh! This will do you do the- Ah, merde! Nothing went the way I wanted. So, pros of the way that getting hit by anything in this game is that it's just very quick. Like, the game realizes that if you get touched by anything, you can't beat the level, so it's just, there you go. Restart. It's efficient, it's clean, great. Con, everything is instant death forever. <laughs> By design, you cannot not have everything not be instant death, unfortunately. There we go, that's what I meant to do, and it worked! So, due to the way this game, like, returns you in places, pretty sure that's a uh, midpoint. There we go, managed to do that. Alright, so yeah, the fun don't stop. You know what? Everyone loves cape shenanigans, I feel like. Like, not necessarily flying, but just like, whoops, whoa. I said whoops, but I'm good. But you know, like, just like, cape stuff. Like, thwacking, gliding. I feel those are like, reasonably loved things that people enjoy doing. I mean, I do. That one was weird. And confirmed. So... Do these plants just re despawn really bad? Because, like, they appear, they sneak in, and then they're just, like, immediately gone. If I scroll them back in. And that's a fun little... Uh... Advantage. I will gladly... Exploit. That. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, and then you fall fast, though. Got, got. I should have waited and seen. Nice landing on the ledge there. Yeah, 
I'm liking this level a lot. Yeah, and you're gonna down smash, so be careful. Uh. Okay. I guess we're doing that now. Okay, that wasn't that bad. And you go slowly. Perfect. So you can just do that. And then panic immediately. Good! Good panic. Moon Town! Welcome to the moon! Okay, so. Follow your dreams! Uh, I was supposed to fly. I, I, I did not know. I did not realize that. That is not a small. Like, you know, I see blocks, I see an arrow. I'm like, all right, you want me to go fast? Got it. I'll go fast. This is barely enough, like, block space, though. It's a really, really uncomfortable little, um, aerospace, and it's a little unfortunate. Like, I feel like the game expects a level of comfort here with takeoff that I do not have. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just gonna do that for the next three hours. Uh, no, but for real though, why is the takeoff place like so tiny? God damn. I'm just gonna do that because it's gonna be faster. It does the same thing. Yeah, it's not like there's not like a secret double jump or anything that I can tell. Yeah, so like, I just, this is just normal flight. Wait! Why did I stop bubble? What? So like, the reality is, like, I'm sure that the point here was not to make just a tiny walkway where you can run and like, that's supposed to be a challenge. I feel it's more likely that Noko Squared is just like, very good at flight and just kind of didn't think about it. What the hell? What am I missing? Do you have to spin fly? Because that is very strange if that's the case. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's a... There's something in play that modifies us something. Because like... I, I just went out of bubble immediately. Unless I just forgot how that works. Welcome to end. Welcome to end. And it's just... See there, I keep pink bubble and it works exactly as I thought it would. Weird. Yeah, this level had an idea in mind and they devoted themselves to that idea 100% and I respect that. I thought it was fun. It was a bit hard just because like I said at some point, it's a little merciless by design, but the cave is such a powerful tool that I kind of get it. And this is the flight there, which I feel like the flight room is meant to be a reward, and it just didn't crock with me in some way. It's very confusing. All right, the other 21st place by Green Jerry. We saw, ooh, we're going all out, huh? Going also very straightforward, just spelling it out for us. I am literally the... What's his name? Viridian? It's been a hot second. Yo, it's not even being subtle. I love it, though. Okay. As soon as I can button. Trinket search. I remember that. Yo, the music. Press button. Do that. I still have a run, but no... Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, we still do that? Press A or B to flip gravity. You can press either. Oh man. Here we don't get the little names, but I suppose that's fine. Here we are in the world outside of time. For whatever reason, the ring is. Oh, that's bad. Oh, Dagadon. Is that a pet? Whee! <laughs> okay. Oh, but you restart entirely. You do not just restart the room. Okay, so. 
the looks and the audio and all that nailed it. And also nailed a lot of the, like, the small stuff. But, you know, not everything. And that's okay. So, yeah, I understand the yellow barriers, what they mean. And I can't go there. I'm just gonna fall down this pit. So I lost the trinket, is what you're saying? I mean, I'm not gonna restart. That's fine, here we go. We go, we are outside. I don't know what it means to die. Oh, well, but if I lose it when I die, like, I don't know, man. Okay, so here we get fun stuff. It does a little ding sound. Whoops! It's easy to die. Then fall here and you die again. So yeah, like trinkets are like something you want. I press start. It just pauses. The timer still goes, which is fun. Um, okay, gotta go here. Then you gotta get down. Then you gotta go here. Then you gotta get down. Ding, twit, twit, twit. Yeah, it sounds like a timer or something. It sounds sound effect I would have chosen. TV. Warning, if you happen to die while well, upside down, I recommend to not move the, uh, there are spikes near you when you respawn. You can't tell me what to do. I mean, you can. You probably know more about this game than I do, so, you know, like, it's fair. I guess I'm just picking a path. Here we go. Going somewhere. Flying off into hyperspace, maybe there's something there that I want. Well, there's a checkpoint in wobbly CDs. What is the point? Fly off somewhere that I don't know. Please don't panic. Turn the radio. I should have gone checkpoint, but I didn't. Then I heard a little broom, and then I got killed. It. All right, so I, I got to return. I kind of have to. Let's see now. I know how this. Yeah, see, Dagadon is there. Yeah, like I'm. I don't know. Level seems kind of hard. I don't know if I want to get all the Dagadons at once. But I will try to get to like grab those, and I can see. Like absolutely. But yeah, like we'll just look at like a low key and nightmare. This is kind of all right. So I got this, and I gotta get out. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I'm willing to believe it if like getting the checkpoint is gonna save me getting the thing. But I don't know. I don't. I'm only gonna will. All right, so we're back here though. It's pretty good. If you're excited about being back places. This is the place to be, man. Alright, this time we're flying up here. The checkpoint is returned, though, so that's good. There we go, I checkpointed, and I'm here now. Then I'm gonna trip. And I'm gonna fall, but we're gonna do it again and, and again, and that's all. Alright, dude, just stop. There we go. I'm gonna walk on this platform. I did that, and I'm gonna... Whoa. The... Angle you have to fly off is pretty strong. So like this looks like I would return if I go in one path. So I take. Well, you know what? I should check it out. Probably like confirm a little bit instead of assuming. Well, this looks dangerous. All right, let's check it out then. Hey, bullet bill kind of. And then you just kind of trip and fall and break your face. Is the only thing I know. And then you don't fire at all. What happened? It's like I got it like stuck off screen a little bit. Like it didn't like like is that not what it looked like? Whoa. Yeah, it's just not firing anymore. But also, like the blocks look like the defunct. Not the word I'm looking for. Doesn't matter, it's the word I used. Check it out. This is a big zone with lots of spikes. It's like a mini Vinny. Mini Vin! I can't go here. I can go here. Didn't look like it. Right, don't know what. Oh, that's not a trinket, that's a CD killer. They're similar looking. Yeah, so that leads us back here. Alright. I guess I should do that, because the return trip here is easier. Okay, so, yeah, you do lose the trinkets every single time you die in this 
fairly long and sprawling level, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm not, I'm not getting all the trinkets. Like, I'm going to get them, but I will not gather all of them in one life to then open up that one gate somewhere. Like, that's just not realistic. An expectation. Like, if you're gonna have a system that imitates a game, it'd be cool if you would imitate one of its better aspects. I don't know, maybe I'm being mean. But yeah, like, then it feels like, why do you have checkpoints if you can't really use them? I don't know, man. Alright, well, there's a checkpoint here, so it's all good. And yeah, it looks like the goal is to get all the trinkets in one life somehow. This seems fundamentally broken. Alright, you know what? Um... If I have to get all the trinkets in order to be able to beat the level... Hey, I found my own save point. It's pretty good, right? It cost me five dollars. I got the thing! Yeah, I kind of have a lot of things to find. No, I have- No! God damn it, I reload and so I have to go back and get- This is bad. So this level went from cool and nice to being bad outright. Like, I don't want to redo everything. Like, hunting down every single little McMuffin? Like, really? Like, really? I never- I don't think I've been to the side here, so maybe- that's where the non-trinket ending is hidden. No, it's just a wall. Makes you invincible. I am extremely disappointed. Like, this went from really cool, really well made, to... B.A.D. bad. Like, it's just, the level is way too hard to do everything. Maybe you just need to touch them all and the game remembers and you don't need, like, it's fine? That's one way you can make this palatable. Cause like, cause otherwise you do in stu- you die in stupid ways like that, where like, Hey, I'm crossing the screen! Oh, I'm died! Whoa! So, but let's see. I, I've touched probably all of the trinkets. Let's see if that gate place has an opinion. Cause that would save it. That would... That would save the level. That's my checkpoint that I used not somewhere. This one. Alright. Like, that is ridiculous. Alright, well... Here we go. Ding. Yeah, I'm just kind of okay. All it says all. That's good though. It's good that it tells. It said literally all. So now I gotta go back. And yeah, I'm safe scoping my way there because I. I have fundamental issues with the structural way this game is designed. That's just outright way it is, man. I press a button too early. This is so dumb. This part, you're just gonna die and restart everything. All right, so now the door is gonna be open again. Like apologies, but no apologies. It's called. I'm not insane that much. There are limits to it. I don't know. And hey, I did it. That, that's not the right instruments. But the spirit is there. Yeah! Um, like, the level is fantastic. I feel like it respects the vibes of Hexavi. But the level is just too deadly. Like you put, and you're aware the level is extremely deadly because there are checkpoints everywhere. But your checkpoint doesn't checkpoint the key to un like beating the level, which is getting the trinkets. 
So the trink po the, the the checkpoint, I guess they're there to help you suss out traps and setups. But then as soon as you die anywhere, then you gotta like just redo the level again, and it's I don't know. It it the level does not function. Like it just doesn't work. Like it worked. The individual pieces work, but as a whole, it just does not make sense. Huh.